Chris here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that every geographic information system person should be doing at the very start of their projects. In fact, they should be doing it continuously through all their projects. Now, a lot of people find this a little bit intimidating. However, within ArcGIS Pro, it's pretty simple to do. There's about maybe 10 to 15 to maybe 20 commands that you actually have to know. And what I'm going to be talking about is coding. Here we go. Yes. All right, here I am back in my basement office where once again, I am a free agent in GIS, in geoscience, in graphics, in video production. In today's video, I am going to be talking about something that I love to do. And I love to do it because it's extremely creative and it makes my life a lot easier. And that is coding. Now, the coding I'm going to be talking about is Python within ArcGIS Pro. Now, a lot of people are intimidated by doing programming. But with an ArcGIS Pro, there's a lot of little things that you can do that'll make it a lot easier to program. Now, you will have to learn maybe about, say, 10, 15, 20, 25 commands when you're doing your programming so that you can make the tools that you need for your GIS. Slow wipe. Before I get going, I'd like to remind you that I've got a Teespring store down below where you can get yourself some GIS or Geoscience shirts that is to support my channel. I also have a website called geographicinformationsuccess.com. I am writing a book or two. Hopefully, they'll be out soon. Make sure you subscribe to my newsletter. Here we go. Back, back to the main video. <sighs> some of the commands are quite simple. Some of them are a little more complex. But in this video, I'm just going to be talking about why you should be doing programming within your GIS. Here we go. This is a series I like to call Build a Bulletproof GIS. I'll be talking about, again, ArcGIS Pro and Python. And I'm going to be talking about coding. Now, the coding is actually going to be quite minimal if you really think about it. It's more of building tools within ArcGIS Pro. The tool I'm hopefully going to get to show you how to build is a geo database builder. Just a quick note, I won't be doing the coding in this video. I'll be doing the coding in another video. So check that one out. Now, why do we want to build tools within ArcGIS Pro? Well, first and foremost, you don't have to build tools within ArcGIS Pro. You can just click, click, type, and chances are sometimes that's the fastest thing to do. Say for buffering or adding XY coordinates, sometimes it's just faster. Now, what happens if you have to do the same thing again? It's pretty fast. However, if you're doing it multiple times, you start noticing that click, click, type, click, click, type is a little bit slow. Now, let's say you're in a position where you're doing the same thing over and over again. Now, you might think that one time's fast, two times fast, but all of a sudden, you start doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. You are slow, slow, slow. Now, to me, that's really, really annoying. What would happen if it just had to do that over and over again, day in, day out? And I guarantee you, other than keeping yourself employed, sort of, it's absolutely boring and not fun whatsoever. Enter Python tools within ArcGIS Pro. Now, there is a bit of a difference with doing the tools. With Python, for instance, when we're making a tool, it's type, test, type, type, test, type, doing a bunch of stuff. And then, admittedly, it is a slow process. Sorry, can be a slow process. The time you get better and type test type, you do a lot more of the work, and eventually you get to something that's repeatable over and over and over again. It saves you time, might even make you more money, and you can certainly figure out how to make more tools well into the future. Just a quick reminder and a side note that I won't be doing any coding in this video. That is for the next set of videos. Check those out. And those were my thoughts on coding within ArcGIS Pro. It's something that you should be doing pretty much all the time because it really makes your life a lot easier, especially over a bunch of projects, especially if you're doing the same things over and over again. Before I go, I'd like to remind you that I've got a Teespring store down below where you can get some cool GIS and geoscience shirt designs. That's if you would like to support my channel. Also, check out well, check out my website, geographicinformationsuccess.com. That is down below as well. Sign up for my newsletter. I'll eventually have a book or two written. You can buy. Make sure you get some good GIS mindsets. Thanks for watching. 
If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Until next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.